in the last few videos we have discussed about relationship and we have learned about lookup relationship and master detail relationship right so these are the basics of relationship in this video we are going to talk about something called hierarchy relationship this is basically the one of the advanced type of relationship that we have but but this hierarchy relationship is on top of the uh, parent and child i mean the master detail and lookup relationship itself Okay, so let us understand this hierarchy relationship and to understand this, I'm going to give you a real time example. This is an example I'm going to share with you where I was just helping one of my customer recently and uh, found this scenario where hierarchy relationship was best fit for it. Okay, now let's just talk about it. So the customer that I was helping, uh, not taking the name of the customer. Okay, just the, let's assume the customer name is ABC Education Private Limited. So they were into education. Okay, uh, what kind of product they have? Uh, this customer ABC Education Private Limited, suppose um, they had few softwares. Okay, which was helpful for the kids to learn uh, mathematics or any other subjects. Okay, so they are basically like a ed tech startup. Okay, now who were their customer? Their customer was schools. Okay, all the different different schools was their customer, right? They had like many schools that they have onboarded gradually, and all the schools' data was basically their customer data, and they have decided to use Salesforce. Now to store the customer data, what? we as an admin have decided okay let's go ahead and use account object to store the customer data okay let me go back to account object so business have decided to store all their customer data into account object suppose okay now let's understand about their customer hierarchy so they had the first level of customer was nothing but the schools they might have like hundreds of schools or thousands of schools that they have onboarded and in that school the actual end user of that product was the children's right the kids because the kids was the end of the day they will be downloading the product and we will be using it right so business like this abc education private limited who has decided to use salesforce um as their crm and they have decided that okay i'm going to use um account object to hold the customer data that's fine now the next level of customers is basically the parents every school had so many parents Correct. So business had decided, okay, we have to store the parents data as well. We cannot create, we can create different, different objects to hold different type of data. That's fine. Technically, there's no, there's no challenge, but, but because Salesforce runs in multi-tenant architecture, we should not create multiple object unnecessary, right? Now, what was the solution? So the solution was we're going to use hierarchy relationship. And we're going to store the school's data, the parent's data in the same account object. Then once the school data has been inserted into account object, what next? Next is the parent. School and the parent data was going into the same account object. Okay. And each parent was actually having one or many kids. Again, the kids data was also going inside the account object. Got it. So the business, the ABC Education Private Limited, this particular business was actually storing not only the school's data into account object, but also the parent data and the kids data into the account object because they are supposed to have every single customer data into their CRM. OK, now I have divided this three thing into a little more detail, right? So let's just look into this. So this is the organization who is going to use Salesforce and we're going to implement hierarchy relationship to solve this problem. The problem statement is this the business have chosen account object supposed to store the school's data let's say they had like school one school two and school three under the school one they have parent one parent two and parent three under the parent one they have like children one i mean child one child two under the parent two they have like child three child four under the parent three they have child five and child six this is the same hierarchy suppose they have for school two, school three and the hierarchy is like pretty long, right? They might have like hundreds of parents and each parent might have like one or many children's, correct? So the, the end goal is to store all the school's data, parents' data, child's data inside the same account object.
now let's go ahead and create this data model i mean this records inside the same account object okay i am in the account tab right and i'm going to create a new account so i'm going to create this particular hierarchy so i'll first create the school one under the school one i'll create the another customer called parent one and under the parent one we will create um, two children called child one and child two okay this is the one that we're going to create inside the account object so hierarchy relationship is nothing but master data relationship between the same object you know what i mean it means parent one is what is an account school one is what it's again an account school one is the child i mean is the parent of parent one right child one is the child of parent one right so this is called hierarchy relationship where account is been related to account itself with a relationship so this is a standard relationship uh, for account is already been provided by salesforce let me just show you how it looks like i am going to create a new account record and the name of the account is i'm just going to copy the same name from here and paste it over here see this particular account is nothing but the school school one i'm not capturing all the other detail save now i'm going to capture the parent one data let's just copy this parent one and let's see now how the parent one data i'm going to capture here so click on new this is the parent one and do you see something called parent account this is nothing but the hierarchy relationship this field called parent account is nothing but a lookup relationship with account itself got it so here i am creating parent one and who is the parent account for this parent one is the school and school one basically save now i'm going to create the third record which is the child one by the way child one if i create the new record called child one who is the parent for child one parent is basically the parent one correct save now i'm going to create the fourth record called child two okay this is what comes with standard um hierarchy relationship with uh, account object but let me create one more record called child 2 under the same parent called parent 1 save you get it now see i have created school 1 this particular hierarchy i have created let me create this hierarchy as well so that it, it uh, you know the data should come properly in the hierarchy okay let me just quickly create these two records as well okay so i have created all these records like school one under the school one we have parent one under the parent one we have child one and child two and then we have created parent two under the school one and the, uh, the pa parent two has child three and four and like that i have created parent three as well so this hierarchy has been onboarded okay now uh, when i created the hierarchy i hope you're, you're pretty much clear what do you mean by hierarchy and how did i create all these records inside the account object it is just you are creating you know, the child record and you are selecting who is the parent for the child now the main record is nothing but the school one school one has this entire hierarchy correct because i have created um, the school one and uh, just below that i have created the entire hierarchy by selecting this parent account field let me show you the hierarchy how it looks like so salesforce provide the standard um view account hierarchy button okay and it looks like this check this out so school one has parent one parent two parent three if i expand the parent one parent one has child one and child two parent two has child uh, three and four parent three has child five and six so this is the hierarchy looks like so instead of having multiple objects to store the school data the parent data the child data what we have done is we have created all the records all the customer data basically these are the customers data right inside the same object called account and we have used the standard uh, parent account hierarchy uh, relationship that salesforce has already provided to create this hierarchy okay i have not onboarded all the other schools if you have onboarded all the other schools definitely you will be able to if you go to the parent record you will see all the below hierarchy if you go to any record let's say i'm going to this child five right 
and if you want to see the entire hierarchy of this record that this record belongs to correct just click here in the sorry not in the new node click on the drop down and click on view account hierarchy this will give you the clear picture of the um the the account hierarchy all right so this is a feature that has been leveraged uh, in this situation i can give you a couple of more scenarios where you know this this particular same feature can be used so uh, next example I can give you, it will be for a loan management company. Okay. So the loan management company was basically giving loans to the companies, to the, it's a B2B process. So it was not giving loans to the individual. It was giving the loans to the companies. Most of the company has like subsidiary companies. Correct. So uh, uh, suppose the company, the loan management company is actually offering uh, a loan to a company called, you know, maybe like XYZ company. And that company has a parent company called like ABC company and that company might have also a parent company. So instead of having a different, different object to store all this ABC XYZ, we can actually leverage the same parent, um, same hierarchy relationship, account hierarchy relationship to capture the entire uh, customer data. By the way, the view hierarchy button that you see over here, I mean, this particular account hierarchy is a standard feature. Okay you cannot expect this feature to be available in any other objects. I mean, let's say you want to have the same thing for the employee object. You cannot have, you can create, you can create a lookup relationship with employee to employee itself. And you can select, okay, this is the, uh, you know, employee and you can select the team lead. You can select the manager, manager has a, a senior manager. So you can create the hierarchy, but uh, the thing is you cannot show this hierarchy in in the uh, in this particular way okay this account hierarchy is a standard feature and that is available only for the account i can give you another example for the same hierarchy you know uh, uh we gonna discuss about user management in another chapter but uh, this is a user okay rajesh chatterjee is the logged in user this logged in user can have a manager i'm not talking about employee okay this is the user Suppose your customer is ABC Education Private Limited and uh, Rajesh Chatterjee is one of the sales executive and Rajesh has his manager also, right? So where do you go and define the manager of Rajesh? If you edit this user, we haven't seen how to edit the user so far. Let me show you uh, quickly how to edit a user. Just go to setup and uh, we're going to talk about this user management a little bit more. And if you search here, users, you see here users if you go to users here we have a few users that we that has been onboarded into the system and uh, basically the logged in user is this and the other user you see these are like dummy user that salesforce has already created if i edit this user okay check this if i edit this user i have a field called manager by the way this manager field is nothing but hierarchy relationship Right. This is where I, I, I can define, okay, this username Rajesh actually have a manager name, something I can look up here, the manager, this lookup icon, if I click here, it will show me all the users, all the user data, user is an object. Okay. I have only one record so far named Rajesh. I have a couple of other dummy record, right? Let me just put security. See, I got security user. This means this user named Rajesh has a manager, which is security user. And if you open the security user, what you will see here, you will find that security user also is an user, is a user data. User is an object and security user is nothing but a record inside that user object. You got it? So this is again a hierarchy relationship. Now to just everything, just to see the a bigger picture, right? Let us go back to the schema builder. Schema builder we have already learned in the previous video. Yeah. So let me go to the schema builder here and try to find the account hierarchy, the user hierarchy that we already have. Let me just clear all and search with account. Now check this out. Do you see one thing here? Account has, uh, has one line coming out of account and, and multiple line going inside account. So if you hover over this, this is what? hierarchy from account to account okay account has a, a, a relationship with account itself and that's basically called hierarchy relationship and if i hover over this line you can see the hierarchy 
from account account itself now i'll go back to the account object i'll go to the account object by clicking on the object manager and uh, account search with account and uh, if you go to the fields check this out where is the parent p a r if you see the parent account this parent account is what the data type is hierarchy correct this parent account data type is hierarchy this is a standard relationship given by salesforce this says that account has a relationship with account itself okay and the same thing reflects over here in the schema builder if i show you the user object here see the user object has the same relationship i'll just remove the account okay and uh, so in user object if you see there is a hierarchy relationship available by the way there are two relationship between user to user but if you see the red color one is the hierarchy one okay if you hover over on top of the red color um, relationship you see the relationship name as hierarchy from user to user but this one is basically a normal lookup to uh, lookup relationship okay so hierarchy relationship is something that comes that salesforce um, gives us and uh, if I show you this hierarchy relationship inside user, let me just go back to user and this is the field. See, we are there in the user uh, object definition page and these are the fields and relationship, right? And this is the field name manager field and the data type is what? Hierarchy. The same hierarchy field that you can see here, it reflects in the this particular schema builder. Okay, and for the account, we have seen account also has a parent account field, which is the hierarchy relationship. This is nothing but this particular field. Okay, so account and uh, user, uh, it, it just gives you the flexibility of um, hierarchy relationship. And this two thing has been pretty much leveraged everywhere. Okay, um, I mean, if you understand this parent account hierarchy concept, you can actually use this concept for any other business scenario that 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 you find where it is the best use case right so uh, we use this uh, hierarchy relationship uh, for two reason to avoid i mean I, in my previous example i can easily create a different different objects to capture the school data parent data and uh, children data i mean three object i would have used leveraged but instead of uh, you know using the three different object I, I would have used the hierarchy standard relationship here in the account itself to capture all the customer data inside the account okay i hope this hierarchy relationship is pretty much clear if it is let's jump into the next video in the next video we're going to talk about something called many to many relationship all right see you in the next video